Um, as you all know, I'm chairman of the Intelligence Committee, and I am gravely concerned uh, that as we go into the 2024 election, we will see foreign malign influence in terms of misinformation and disinformation coming from Russia, coming from China, coming from Iran, and other nation states that are, we are adversaries with. And my concern is, and I wrote the, um, the head of CISA, the cybersecurity agency that is supposed to be working with the social media companies and others, um, I don't think we're, as, we're nearly as prepared in 2024. Frankly, I don't even think we're as prepared in 2024 as we were in 2020 uh, because there is uh, an overhang of a court case that came up in, in Texas that is trying to restrict the government's ability to even have voluntary communications with the social media companies. If we can't have that kind of linkage in, in stopping foreign malign influence, uh, our hands are going to be tied. Uh, and there are some of these... Um, social media platforms, uh, Twitter or X in particular, um, who simply are just not very collaborative, not just here in the United States, but in terms of uh, election protection efforts um, around the world. So I've contacted CISA. I'm trying to help. Uh, our intelligence committee is going to be out holding hearings on this issue. We need to, uh, to be better prepared. Um, you know, we've got enough divisions in our own country uh, back and forth without those being amplified or um, uh, you know, further stirring the pot by particularly, uh, particularly Russia, which has shown from 2016 to 2020 an ability to interfere in our elections and, and candidly in other elections around the world, and we've got to be prepared. One of the things that I think um, we need, and some of the, the artificial intelligence uh, companies have said they will do what's called watermarking, authentication, so that if you see a video, you'll know if it's been doctored by AI. We've got to force those companies to actually uh, you know, do what they say they're going to do so that consumers can, can see if the, their documents or, or videos have been altered that, that may be appearing in terms of uh, representation of candidates or their positions. Um, I think we need the administration, frankly, to lean in more, regardless of this Texas case, uh, and, and communicate more with the social media companies so that they, we can work hand in hand. Um, you know, I'm not talking about limiting anybody's First Amendment rights. We, can, we as Americans can debate uh, uh, you know, any issue we want. I'm focused on foreign malign influence. And if we can't talk to the social media companies who are oftentimes the distributors of this misinformation and disinformation, even the ones who want to do the right thing, then our, our ability to, uh, uh, to educate Americans about um, these tools that may manipulate either in images or in text uh, is going to be greatly undermined. So um, we've got to do a better job of educating. And frankly, this was something that uh, you, as difficult and as much of an election denier that Donald Trump is, his administration actually, combined with the intelligence community, uh, did a pretty good job in 2020 of trying to keep out some of the foreign malign actors. Uh, we've got to at least do as well as we did in 2020, in 2024, or um, uh, we could have the bad guys pay a hugely disproportionate role in, in affecting how people vote.